Check it out. Yo, my people was good. It's Buzz Brazy here with another video. So yeah, but getting ready for this video. Guess what I found? My Mortal Kombat team, man. This would have been a wavy to have worn in the last video. You just seem to be messing with still. Like, ain't got that many views. Same time, I've only been doing YouTube for about a month. So I'm pretty happy with it, you know. I think I hit like over 1k views in total now. It's a good start still. So for all the people watching, thank you so much. But yeah, for this video, I'm going to be reacting to people telling their parents to shut up. To record their dad's reaction oh I think that's gonna be mad still because a lot of parents especially dads they find that extremely disrespectful you know just like the whole talking back so what I'm trying to see is are they gonna be giving their kids an ass whipping or are they gonna be trying to educate their kids on why what they're doing is wrong but yeah let's get into it my people Allie will you please go put your stuff in the wash like I asked you to do earlier <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I said, you should try to put it yourself. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> the dad was not playing. That little baby's reaction be killing me, man. I think she's used to hearing that. Naysha. Oh, can you shut up? I'm trying to make a Wait, baby, we're joking. What? <laughs> we're just joking. Bro, what? Hell no. Do you know how many times, yeah, I've seen people disrespect their step parents, man? It really doesn't even matter if they're not your real parents. Reality is, yeah, they still got to deal with all the burdens that comes alongside having kids they've still got to try get you to a good school they still got to try feed you multiple times a day all the times if you're asking for new clothes any new technology anything like that they're still spending time money and energy into you man for you to try disrespect them bro reality is yeah it's harder to be a step parent than it is a real parent because a real parent still, because they're part of you, even if they don't like you, they still got to affirm it and just like, oh yeah, like I, I'm, I gave birth to it, you know what I'm saying? Or I helped create it. But a step parent don't own you nothing. Bro, all they're doing is they're smashing your parent and cool, they're committed to each other. Or even if they don't show you love, like they went out their way to try take care of somebody else's kid and I know bare people that would never do that still why would they man like they ain't gaining anything from you like in the future you're not gonna go out your way to try take care of them they could be doing so many other things but yeah here they are trying to take care of you but obviously I know there's some step parents out there that are trash and I get that but the ones that do be trying there's no reason for you to ever try to disrespect them. Because cool, they're not your real parent, but they're the ones that are trying to be there for you. At the time, it might seem harsh, some of the things they're doing, but reality is, they're not prepared for this. It's like, think of it as a game, yeah. Imagine playing it from the very beginning, compared to just joining in midway. Like, you're going to find it mad difficult to try get along with everything that's happening around you but all you got to do is try adapt to the situation but i can't lie like i've seen people say that type of stuff so many times like oh yeah you and my real parents even like do you know how much they must hurt them especially if they try to consider you as their own kid like if they don't obviously understand the dynamic is very different but if they do try care man you can't be doing that honestly Go in. No. What? No, no. Hey, come in. I'm a count to three, and if I have to chase you, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> hey, Mason, can Good you take the trash out for me, please? No, I just did it yesterday. Well, it's full and it needs to be taken out. So shut up. Excuse me? Shut up! Take it out. Miley, go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, we'll do that. Okay, we'll do it. No, we'll you put with the bin. <laughs> um, Molly, will you please go do it? Just no. I'm please. I'm gonna download that Robo Killer so I quit getting those stupid calls. Molly, I'm just asking you to go this get it. What? Shut up! What the hell did you just say to your mom? Bullshit. No, Curtis. <laughs> Curtis, it's a TikTok challenge. Curtis, give me. Curtis, Man doesn't even me. care. Curtis, Man doesn't care. Beverly, get down here and eat your supper. Come on, come on, get mad. Did you say shut up? <laughs> but let, let me grab that last piece of food before I go. <laughs> What? Excuse you? Mm -hmm. Team playing. Oh, it looks like this is getting poured down the drain. <laughs> 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 I didn't play it. Play it. He's just staring at Are you going to do something about it? The way it. I wanted no part of that, man. Shelly, can you fix uh, Lucy's bed? Did you shut up? Excuse me? You're not her mom. <laughs> no, nah, that's what I'm talking about. Hella disrespectful. What'd you tell her to do? Mum pulled up that car so fast, man. I find the closest parking spot I was like, hey, yo, you gonna learn a lesson today. Don't be trying to disrespect your step one like that, man. Hella rude. Still talking about people be trying to pull this type of stuff off often, man. That's a person with feelings, bro. Eli? Yeah? Can you fix Lucy's bed? Did you take that stuff out of the dryer? I gave the double stay. Oh. <laughs> 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 the water, I already told you. Okay, I'm coming. What? Hurry up. The water. Okay, hurry. Be quiet. It's a break. <laughs> <laughs> Have you cleaned your room? No. Why not? I told you to clean it earlier. Yeah, no, dude, shut up. God dang, dude. That's the nickel. That moved so fast. Rest <laughs> <laughs> your guns on your rack. Take the trash out. Yeah, you finally delivered it with something else. Why not? Why not? Use this bathroom. Are, are you being serious? Is everything okay? Or why? Why did you slam the door? Huh? What? <laughs> Bruh, 
So I ain't gonna lie, yeah. That one's clearly different. You can see it because when his kid slammed the door, instead of like reacting how you'd kind of expect, which is kind of getting mad, man tried to understand the reasoning behind it, you know. Because obviously everyone's going through stuff, you know. Like think about when you were younger, like whenever you're frustrated, you try to like just slamming doors, just isolate yourself from everybody else, you know. And like I can't lie, this this dad was mad still. Man tried to understand what the, why the kid came across like that. Basically, trying to just talk to them, you know, so they're able to express their feelings. And I think like when this person's an adult or in a relationship and stuff, their communication is gonna be a lot better than a lot of people because instead of looking at how they're reacting, you're looking at why they're reacting a certain type of way and trying to understand it and well what would eventually happen is like cool the, the dad will try to resolve why they're acting that way and then tell them off like yo don't be doing that just talk to us if you're having an issue i like, can't lie i'll be messing with that style of parenting man when you get frustrated it's so much easier to block everything off and like just keep it keep everything to yourself than it is to talk about why you're feeling a certain type of way however that's gonna have so many issues later on in life like when you're having issues with partners or friends and stuff you rather tell them why you're feeling a certain type of way and try to resolve that instead of just blocking out because what will usually end up happening is it's just gonna eventually build up you know and that frustration anger is gonna just explode one day you're gonna say do stuff that you can never take back man like, i'm sure you've all been there you see what I mean? So it's just, just tell them how you feel, and if they don't do anything about it, cool. Like this ain't really a person working. You're opening up about issues. It's easier to cut them off or just keeping your distance from them. Like, oh, like I'll be messing with this dad done something very different here, but I'll be messing with it heavy, man. I think I think this is amazing parenting. To be fair. Ah, sugar daddy. Okay, just shut up already. <laughs> Man, I had to run up them stairs. Yes, my people, thank you for watching the video till the end. But yeah, that video was very interesting because, like, you can see how different parenting styles work out to be. And you can also see, like, the same situation, different people will handle it completely different. Really, kids are sponges and all they're going to do is they're just going to absorb whatever you do and they're just going to learn the behaviour to be alright. So if you were to like beat your kids and just yell at them over stuff that you don't like them doing, they're going to eventually learn that that's alright for them to be also doing in the future. So they're going to be coming out with the same mentality. Like if they don't like something, they're going to be quick to yell, they're going to be quick to be violent over it it's not really going to resolve any issues like the problem is still going to be there like i said one of the last parenting like man tries to actually get their kid to open up and instead of just quick to be frustrated man was like what's going on with you in it trying to get down to the issue i think that's amazing still and like not many parents got that if you enjoyed the video make sure you share it with anybody else that you think might benefit from watching the video like, yeah, it had humour, but also showed you a real insight into different styles of parenting as well. You know, one thing I noticed, yeah, there were no Asian kids trying to pull that off. Because big man thing, ain't no, oh my days, you even try to say shot, boom, you get slapped in the back of the head, man. Obviously not all Asian parents, yeah, but a lot of them be very quick to be frustrated. And again, I can't talk in a lot of Asians, but any of the ones that I know, they tend to keep the emotions to themselves, where... I've been saying if you get in a relationship or like very close friends with people it's going to be hard for you to express your feelings to them or when you have a problem you're very used to isolating yourself and keeping it all to yourself then you are to telling them what you think a lot of people also do feel vulnerable at that as well but yeah man I hope you like enjoyed the video if you did give this video a like subscribe turn the notification bell as well yeah, so I've done a video similar to this before, like another reaction to some TikTok compilations. I'll tag that over as well. But yeah, you lot, hope you lot have a good day and stay hydrated.